Hello, what's going on today? We're back for a, another reaction. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Breaking Bad Season 1, Episode 5, Grey Matter. That is a very interesting episode title. It makes me kind of think of Brain Matter, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. The show can be a little gruesome at times, as we have seen in some of the earlier episodes. Uh, this story is drama. This story is comedy. This story has trauma. The story has it all. The characters are compelling. I love Jesse. And overall, it's just a fantastic uh, start to a show. I think there's only one more episode left. Maybe three more episodes left. I know there's, it's a short season. So I know there's not much left of this season, which is exciting. Um, I know there's more great seasons to come. And of course, the prequel, which is going... I think it's a prequel. I don't know if it's a prequel. I take that back. Whatever... Bad Call Saul or whatever the Saul show is. There's that. So, um, I apologize if you hear. Uh, it's raining. It's storming. So, there might be some sirens in the background. Everything should be good, though, um, in my little woods here. So, hopefully, everything is good out there because that sounds crazy right now. Anywho, uh, thank you guys so much for your support. It does mean a lot. We are getting closer and closer. We are 35 subscribers away to 700, 335 away from 1,000, and you guys are making that happen. You guys are awesome. If you're new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Help us continue to get closer and closer to the goal. Also, hit the like button. That way, it tells YouTube to suggest this video to new people, and we can continue to grow the family and the community that we have um, I'm so excited for you guys uh, to see the great shows, for me to watch the great shows, and for us to talk about it. So I think without further ado, let's watch and see what happens. Which I think is more professional, but, uh, you know, same thing pretty Jesse. much. That's, uh, wow, great. But this position truly is a no experience necessary kind of thing. Well, and uh, it doesn't really say it here, but um, I have a solid background. It looks like uh, Jesse when he was younger, maybe. What you'll be doing is more like advertising. Oh. Hey, man. Yo, man. Oh, my gosh. What up? Badger? Gotta prove to the man I'm rehabilitated. <laughs> Upstanding citizen. What shit? You can't just stand there. You have to spin the arrow. There's all these moves you have to learn, like the helicopter. Now you, uh, you really opened my eyes to the possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> hey, anyway, son. You think you could maybe, uh, hook me up with some crystal? Thinking about retiring. What? Oh, no. is this yeah. what gets him back involved in everything? Unbelievable. No, I mean, I, I had this, or is this, uh, current? this partner who was helping me cook. We could partner up. Huh? It definitely looked like he was younger. No pressure. But maybe he's because no he's all cleaned up. Just think about it. Jesus. Hmm. I guess we didn't get the beige memo. It's a nice uh, outfit. We're okay. Or a nice uh, party. Yes, I, I look like I'm wearing a prom dress from 1980. God, would you look at that? The invitation said no gifts. Gretchen, look who's here. Who is this? Oh. I mean, the, the work that your company is doing. Congratulations to both of you. Are they Hard like former co workers? Yeah. A lot of luck. A lot uh, of luck. Well, no. <laughs> That's my type of library, y'all, let me tell you. <laughs> Schwartz, black, Walter, white. So together they became gray matter technologies. Thank you, Duh. So you run the company with Elliot. What university? High school. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh my God. This is what Walt and I oh, he's lived about to start on crying. for uh, 10 months straight. These noodles were responsible for our success. <laughs> this was our lifeblood. I love how he thought it was going to be Man, so uncomfortable, but... Find these? I thought they'd been outlawed years ago. Hey, no, no, no. It was. No, you remember the fat wow. guy. Wow. Yes. He was not expecting that. He used to call that. him snot trough. Because he <laughs> they were really thing. close, huh? No, what, what, no. It, it, wasn't it seems too good to be was, true. But you know what I mean is that, that you and I should work together again. Oh. <laughs> what, are you going to teach high school? No, 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 no seriously. What's stopping us? You know what it's like when you, you, you've been trying to crack some problem for months on end? You get tunnel vision. One guy thinking outside of the box. Something does not seem exactly right here at all. He's not going to take it because of the cancer, well, is he? listen, I have some personal issues. But there's nothing we can't work out. We, we have excellent health insurance. Hmm. 
best. Maybe that will help him get him in there. Oh, also for the baby, too. What? You told him about the cancer, didn't you? Oh, uh, and now it makes sense. Okay, we were talking. What exactly did he say to you? He offered me a job. What? Yes, <laughs> kind of like some fig leaf, you know? Okay, what did you say? He rejected it, Walt? didn't he? What do you think I said? Why? <laughs> I don't necessarily blame Skylar for trying here, kind of. She can be a little OTT sometimes, but this this kind of makes rational sense a little bit. I don't know if it's necessarily her place to talk about it either, but I don't also think it's, I don't know, it's complicated. I'm ready to go. I'm taking the bus. Oh. Hey, dude, are these bullet holes? Uh, no, man, those are for like, um, you know, uh, ventilation. <laughs> Here's a, an Erlenmeyer flask. Um, you got... Wow. really know your shit. It's <laughs> a space of chemistry, yo. I thought that space and time went back and forth and sideways. This guy's such a clown. Badger! We are as prickly as a couple of... This is fantastic. I'm assuming he's trying to replicate what Walter did. Uh, I need five each. Come on, two more. Here. Oh. What about him? We forgot our IDs and we were wondering if you could do us a favor and buy us a six pack. You know, what you're asking is illegal. Oh. Um, guess you win the jackpot. Consider this your first and last warning. Yes, sir. You're lucky you got a good dad here. Oh, covering for him. What? You never tried to buy beer when you're my age? <laughs> I'll talk about you calling me and not your father. How do you think I make him feel? I don't even know what to say to you. Oh. Just go. First the pot, then this. The pot? You told me that he was smoking me. That's what Skylar told me. I mean, you, you may as well have. I wasn't talking about Walter Jr. I'm talking about Walt. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and he liked it. Walt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> I think he had it in him. You know what we need to do? What we really need intervention? to do is sit him down, all of us, oh and, my. and get everything out on the table. Talk it all through. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> it's not right. What do you mean it's not it's right? It's close, but it's not there. It's cloudy. It's not supposed to be cloudy. Okay. Ah! Are you out of your mind? What? We'll just <laughs> do it again. Bro. Oh my god. They're all gonna be there, yep. <laughs> Oh, this is about to be so uncomfortable. Walt. Not the charcuterie board. <laughs> he can't replicate what Walt did. He's close, but he's not there. Don't you fucking think about it! Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Is he about to kill another person? Is he really about to shoot a crossbow at him? No freaking way. I was gonna shoot the tire, maybe. He should have shot the tire. Music's really good. You've made is not only not in your best interest, it's not in the best interest of our entire family. Look, Skylar. Not yet, please. I, I have the talking pillow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Everybody gets to speak. Hank, would you like to start? <laughs> well, she's gonna give him the what talking pillow. Is that, uh... take, take, take the talking pillow. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell you how many times I was, you know, I started with a shit hand, and I ended up with a, you know, a full house. All right. 
the hell are you saying? No, please. Marie, let him talk. That's what we're here to do. Please. <laughs> Go on, Hank. He, he, he's getting there. All right. So you can either let the pinch hitter take the bat, or you can hold on to your pride and lose the game. You get what I'm saying? No. <laughs> I did, but... Somebody want to take this thing? Yeah. Y yes, Walter. Walter Jr., I'm, I'm sure. He's not, he's not going to say anything. This is bullshit. All right, come on. It, it's all right. It... I'm pissed off. Tell him. I, I'm pissed off. Because you're, be, you're being... You, you're... You're a pussy. Oh, my. You're like ready to give up. What if you gave up on me, huh? This here, all the stuff I've been through, and y you're scared of a little chemotherapy? Wow. I think you should do whatever you want to do. What? Told us to be honest about our feelings. Walt's the one with cancer. It's his decision. It's not up to any of us. Why in the <laughs> hell? And some of them don't want to spend their last weeks or months being picked at by doctors. But they got talked into it by their families. Hey, you don't want to get the pillow back. I, I don't want him to die at all. That's the whole point of this. So either help wow. or leave. This is not debate club. This is my husband's life you know, we're talking I about here. This is my husband's life we're talking about here. And thing. it's like, Ladies, come on. You, how it's dare it's you? Hey, somebody who disagrees with you. It's me. This is so stupid. All right, I've got the talking pillow now. <laughs> okay. What I want, what I need, is a choice. I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices. Wow. All I have left is how I choose to approach this. Well, then make the right choice, Walt. But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work, to enjoy a meal, <sighs> to make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up. <laughs> I was bringing me, tears. But, uh, that's how you would remember me. That's the worst part. That is wow. my thought process, Skyler. I choose not to do it. Mm. Has time passed and she left him? Because if that's the case... Okay, she's just downstairs. I was about to be extremely upset with her. I'm not a huge fan of her right now, but... I'll do the treatment. What? <sighs> he's choosing it. Whether, okay. whether he wants to or not, he's choosing to. Like he said, he wants the choice. They got vacuum. <laughs> Elliot. Oh. Wow. What a what's party. Gonna, what's gonna happen? Uh, man, you have to accept that money. As far as we're both concerned, that that belongs to you. Even the name of our company, it, it's it's half of yours. Is this about you and me? Gretchen, I really appreciate the offer. I do. Insurance came through after all. So, um, I am covered. No, you're not. Get out. But this, this is how he's going to get into cooking the mess. But him and her, his best friend. That's good news. <laughs> you know, that really was a, a great party. The show, the show. Mess. Thank you for calling. Mess, mess, mess. Wanna cook? There it is. That was easily hands down the best episode of the series so far. You know, you know, we've only got five episodes in for me. That living room scene 
That was, a, first of all, a long scene. That just kept going. But that is one of the most powerful, one of the most well-acted, well-directed, well-shot scenes. And they were just talking in a living room. That scene is so powerful, so deep, so raw. And the actor portrayed it so freaking well. And everything, it just points to where we are now. And it just makes a whole lot of sense. And I just I just cannot believe how good this episode was. And how great the show is really just picking up. And you, you can see now where things are going. And that bombshell at the end. that his, It's always the best friend's wife. Wow, wow. What an incredible episode. What did you guys think about it? Let's talk about it down in the comments. There's definitely a lot to talk about in this episode. So much. It's so powerful. Um, easily so far my favorite of the series and hands down one of the best scenes in TV that I've seen so far. Like that was incredible. But let's talk about it. I'm curious about your thoughts. Here's some other videos of mine you might enjoy as well and have a good rest of your day.